heading to the comp pretty soon. It just is about 7.52 right now. Square one is the first event. I am group one, so we gotta head out pretty soon, but I hope I do pretty well. The goal is just a PR average, and I'm using the Max MGC square one here. first event here I am warming up for it quickly I was moved to group 2 of the round since I came a bit late I already had submitted my max MGC so here I am just warming up with my black Volvi 2 so here I am going to do my first official solve since Skewbadelphia winter 2020 now here it is my first official average in over two years I'm not feeling too nervous it just brings back so much nostalgia competing, sitting in the chair with a judge about to lift the cover. I start off with a 16.42, which is pretty average for me at the time, but as I previously mentioned, my goal was just to beat my previous PR, which was 22.11. The card, the card came out, so they have of the cube, so apparently they're gonna re-scramble it or something. The next solve was a 13.8, which was very surprising for me since I had parity. This was also my first ever sub 15 square one solve officially. The next solve was a 17, pretty normal for me, but still on track to break another PR. Solve 4 was an 18.62, still pretty average. What's up, Chris? Long time no see. You've been popping up on YouTube too. And for the last solve, Shout out to Krish for the motivation before the solve which led me to getting a 16.87 single and a 16.87 PR average. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. So 3x3 three three round 1 did not go very well. I ended up with a 9.87 average with a counting 11. I guess my nerves got to me. However, I got this on the third solve. But after competing, I was able to put together a little cinematic sequence right now. Get into your battle positions, repetition, we're addicted to pushing, fighting, big fan. And I follow my conviction, so I have made my decision. My direction is changing up. Cause I couldn't wait for you for my entire life. I hope you make it to someone to treat you right. And when you think of me, I hope that all your memories are sweet. But I don't want to walk around the issue for forever. I haven't found a way to make it better. Look around and hopefully you'll see what I have seen. See? So now I'm about to compete in 4x4 round 1. During warm up, I was pretty confident in my abilities. I was getting low 30s left and right, but it turns out my nerves got to me. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline. Watch you by my head. There was a lunch break, and Carson and I decided to do a little 1v1. Here's some of the highlights. I'll have the full video of it linked in the description down below. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling. What the hell? Ah, this is your turn. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> After 
after this intense matchup, I decided to film a banger video, which went like this. The rules are simple. If the contestant answers the cubing question correctly, they get to randomly select a free cube from the bag. These questions were meant to be easy so the player has a chance to win something, and I wanted to get rid of some cubes anyway. You watching MC stuff? I just want a good time. This comp has been pretty amazing so far, shout out to Darren and his brother for organizing this comp. I ended up doing a few more rounds after that and I achieved some more PRs. We're heading outside. The comp is going pretty well. I don't know if this is going to turn into a vlog. Hi Chan Clan. As you see, I'm squatting and I'm doing weird things. Um, just know, Max is a cool person. He's good at cubing, besides three by three. We're gonna steal Max's camera, and then we're gonna go skirt skirt. Hi Chan Clan. Max is so cool. Look at that dude. We just finished playing catch. We're gonna be late for skew. But who loves skew? There's literally no one that like like cares about skew, bro. For the cubers out there, everyone should main feet. And unsubscribe from MC5 Tufts. This is a tennis ball that we were using. We're so cool. <laughs> So 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three finals did not go the greatest. I'm going to be showing the fastest solves that I got from each of these rounds. I find that at the end of the day at a competition, I feel very tired and my results end up getting worse. However, I'm still happy that I was able to maintain my PR streak and achieve 12 PRs this whole competition. It was great to be back competing and reminiscing about one of my favorite hobbies and doing something that I just really like doing. If you're ever on the edge of going to a cubing competition in your area, I would 100% say that it's worth it. I am currently about to 
workout. It has been a pretty hectic day. Um, I just finished up with the cubing competition. It was pretty nice, had a fun time. If this video ends up as a vlog, thank you so much for watching. Other than that, um, I'm gonna get my workout in and you'll probably see the rest if you're interested on my non-cubing channel, which is Maxwell Chance. Peace out guys, thanks so much for watching. I just want a good time.